Ladies and gentlemen, welcome uh, to this video. And guys, in this video, we are going over the best wrestling brands. I have a dream, that's all I need. I'll make it happen with some work and believe. Know what I want, so I'll take it on. I've made mistakes, but mistakes make you strong. Let's break it down for a minute. I want the crap. Alright guys, so what's going on? I hope you guys are having a great day. And of course, you know, today I you know I was thinking, you know, a lot of people ask me, you know, what's the best gear you can get? What's the best shoes? Maybe, you know, some cool hoodies or singlets that you guys can get. And what I, I don't want to give you, you know, pretty much like direct items to get. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over my favorite wrestling brands that I personally have used and kind of show their products and kind of what they're all about. And also guys, um, these brands are not listed from uh, top to bottom. It's pretty much just random. I'm just listing these brands for you. But anyways, coming in at number one, we're gonna start off at Wrestle Boutique. Now, Wrestle Boutique is is of, co of course it's you know a wrestling boutique. So what makes Wrestle Boutique unique is that they have limited time options and actually quantities of shoes and apparel at very low quantities. You guys may know Funky Flicker Boys and whatnot, and that's with you know the rare shoe community and the uh, actually owner of Wrestle Boutique and creator Connor Boyk. Uh, so, so he actually owns Wrestle Boutique and he actually owns now Funky Flicker Boys. So kind of these two brands are linked together in one, which is pretty much Wrestle Boutique. And what they have is an assortment of shoes, sweatshirts, apparel, hoodies. You got you know real shoes, of course, singlets, knee pads. Now you guys may be aware of these shoes. For instance, you got the Bryce Meredith collab and you got the Highlight Humphrey collab with these very, very, you know, unique wrestling shoes that, you know, are very catching to the eye. Now, the thing about Rust Boutique is it is pricey because of the of the limitability of it. And even what some people do is they'll actually buy it. You have to be really quick on the website and then people will actually resell it and upsell it on eBay. And some of these shoes can go for 300 or 500 bucks. But they are like supreme. They have these limited drops and only a certain number of people will actually end up getting the items. So what you can do is actually stay updated on their Instagram is where they're most active and you can from there see which items they're going to drop and what time. Coming in at another wrestling brands, we got Tom and Terry brands. <sighs> yes. So coming in at really the second wrestling brand, we actually have Cliff Keen, which is pretty much a strictly wrestling brand. So Cliff Keen is pretty much known as kind of like, you know, the starter kit for wrestling and whatnot. For instance, my first headgear was ever Cliff Keen and, you know, a bunch of their gear. They make a bunch of knee pads, headgear, singlets, bags. For instance, you know, I actually have a Cliff Keen bag here. So if you guys usually see like these bags like this, you can see it has Cliff Keen on the side. Um, and, and that is what it looks like right there. So you got this pretty long string, you know, you open it up, you got your bag in here. Usually you, it has two pockets in here. I usually put my shoes in one and then my singlet and my headgear in the other, along with maybe, you know, like uh, some like disinfectant wipes to clean off my headgear. So the thing about Cliff Keen is they really don't have any wrestling shoes to sell, but they do have a bunch of that team gear, which you guys can have custom knee pads that you can go on their website and do. And of course, you know, custom bags and stuff like that. Now, another wrestling brand we are going into, of course, is Rudis. So Rudis Wrestling is actually, you know, associated with some wrestlers. This includes Miles Martin and Kyle Snyder. And they actually, of course, have a Kyle Snyder, uh, you know, the Infinity Shoe, which I'm sure you guys know about. From their apparel side of Rudis, they also have a large assortment of sweatshirts and shirts and whatnot. And um, they, they actually, you know, pretty, pretty much always in stock with some sort of item. So you guys don't have to worry about having them being sold out. However, though, they do have some pricey things, for instance, like some sweatshirts and some jackets are up there, 65, 75 bucks. But they do have some really cool things like the Rocky collection. They're coming out with an ACDC collection. And of course, along with Cliff Keen, they also have that custom wrestling gear, um, you know, segment where, what they can do for your team. So Rudis Wrestling is actually based out of Ohio. And guys, um, of course, this wrestling brand in Rudis um, is, of course, the brand which I use their wrestling shoes to win my state championship in. And of course, you know, those shoes, I'm pretty much retiring them uh, because, you know, it's, it was such a big thing in my life and I wanna, you know, uh, have that last match be that state finals match in them. So I uh, definitely gotta hook myself up with another pair of Rudis wrestling shoes. Coming in another wrestling brand, of course, you know, just like every sport, you know, we got Nike. So the types of wrestling shoes that they have, I'm sure you guys know the Nike Inflix and whatnot, and they have Inflix from multiple generations. So even some of the really old Nike wrestling shoes are selling for a lot of money. You guys might know the Nike OG Inflix. They come in the black colorway, the red colorway, and the blue colorway. 
Honestly, I have never owned one of these wrestling shoes, but if I had the opportunity to, I would. But you'd have to get them on eBay. But also, they're coming out with a bunch of new and different styles of shoes lately. So one of the new shoes is called, I think it's called like the Tawa or something. But Nike, again, has a variety of shoes. Of course, like the Nike Freaks, I used to always wear those. Um, and now my grandpa actually has those Nike Freaks and he likes them a lot. And of course, you know, the Nike Hyper Sweeps, um, there's a lot of mixed feelings around there. Um, for instance, uh, for instance, some say that the Nike Hyper Sweeps, uh, it's like wrestling with a two by four on your feet, uh, which, yeah. Now, another brand we are actually going into, of course, is pretty much what I think, you know, is the main wrestling brand, just like wrestling, just whatever. I always think of this, it's Asics. Like every time I think of Asics, I think of the, the way back, the really old wrestling shoes of the Asics Tigers and kind of the Dave Schultz wrestling shoe style. So Asics is actually home to, I think, the most, you know, collabs with certain wrestlers. For instance, you got Dan Gable, Kale Sanderson, Jordan Burroughs, Rulon Garter with the Rulons, and of course, um, Adeline Gray has her own shoe as well. And you know, one of my biggest dreams, of course, is to, you know, have kind of a shoe sponsor deal and have, you know, my own shoe, my name, uh, you know, attached to a certain uh, style and brand of a shoe, which would be absolutely amazing, but uh, we'll have to see where that takes us. So along with Asics Wrestling, they actually have, you know, of course, a lot of great shoes uh, coming in at the Wrestling Aggressors. I actually have owned only one pair of Wrestling Aggressors, and they're in a box in my room uh, because they're actually the Asics Legend Aggressors. And these shoes, when I got them, it was, it was insane because I've never had a shoe with people's faces actually on them. And of course, from Asics Wrestling, you know, you got the Ultimate Beginner shoes, you got the Matt Flexes, of course, but I mean... Coming in at, at uh, the Flow Wrestling, who's number one? Uh, Drake Ayala came and won with Asics Mat Flexes. So, I mean, it's not for all beginners. So, Asics does have some pricey items, but also they have the low items that you can get if you are a beginner and just trying to try it out. Last but not least, we have Adidas and their wrestling gear. Now, Adidas wrestling and their shoes are actually home to the most expensive wrestling shoes. For instance, one of the combat speeds, um, I think they're the teal colorway, it says West Germany on it. These are priced at, you know, thousands of dollars and it's, it's insane how these wrestling shoes are worth that much, but it's really cool to look at the really old wrestling videos with world championships and to see these guys in these wrestling shoes because today, those shoes are worth a lot of money. And so Adidas combat speeds are actually, you know, pretty affordable. I think, you know, 40 bucks. So you can't go wrong there. And of course, they're actually home to David Taylor's collab with their shoes and also Jake Varner's. And also guys, um, their headgear, it's kind of my favorite headgear brand because every time I need a new headgear, I go into Adidas wrestling because, because they actually have this chin strap. And now um, it would say Adidas on here with the stripes, but guys, I rub that off because, you know, as soon as you start wrestling, it gets rubbed off, but I absolutely love it. You know, you got the plain, you know, black headgear. Um, also this thing right here, it's super, super nice because you don't want to be wrestling and have this, you know, drop down in your eyes and your face. And that won't happen uh, with this little connector thing. And of course, you know, with the chin guard, it's so nice just to have that on your chin instead of a thing kind of below your neck here. That's, you know, uncomfortable and sweaty and you can get acne on there. But having this chin guard, um, you know, I, I love it so much. Also guys, you better not be sleeping on the Waldo's Warriors, baby. And you know, if I'm being honest, if I saw some dude in this, if I see someone with Waldo, with the, with a thrower be thrown on the back? Oh boy. I just give him the dub. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so that's gonna actually close out the video for the best wrestling brands. If you guys did enjoy this video or learn anything new, make sure to like the video. Give me a comment, I'll you know be responding to all comments, so make sure you do that. And also, if you guys are new to the channel, I would appreciate if you guys would subscribe because that would get us one subscriber closer to 100,000 subscribers. And once we hit that, I would love to have a plaque and have you guys you know in on that and have the plaque standing right there um, as a little motivation factor, so that would be you know, insane. So thanks guys for watching and we'll see you guys next video. I wanna have it all right now